Hi there, in this video I'm going to machine the cylinders for this uh, little hoglet engine. So I've machined this down to 2 inches in diameter and I think before I do any more machining I'm going to uh, take it off the lathe, put it in the bandsaw and chop that off. But I'll do that off camera. Ok so I've got two pieces now, uh, both uh, 2 inches in diameter and uh, the appropriate length. And I think what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to uh, bore out the bores, the cylinders. So um, the Viton rings that I've got are BS020 which give an outside diameter of 1.004 of an inch. Um, so looking at the drawing the piston will need to be about sort of four thou under that. Between four and five thou. So I've, I've made a bit of a test piston here um, with a, a groove to fit the ring and I reckon that I need to be aiming for uh, the internal diameter of these uh, cylinders to be 1.003 which will let me do a little bit of honing then. So I've made this gauge here that's uh, the outside ones 1.001 then it goes 1.003 and then 1.005. Okay so I've uh, put it in this four jaw chuck and that looks pretty good. OK, so I'm going to use the 6mm stub drill first of all and go in as far as I can. Okay, so I'll uh, replace that with a longer 6mm drill bit, then I'll uh, work my way up a few sizes uh, more than that until I get to 13mm, then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've got it up to 13mm uh, with a normal drill bit, and now I'm going to use this boring bar. OK, so that comes in at 40 thou under my target and I've decided I'm going to use the uh, Hemingways between centre boring to get the uh, final or close to the final dimension. Um, so what I'll do off camera is I'll uh, repeat exactly the same process on the other cylinder. Well, it must have taken me over two hours trying to get this set up right for the uh, between centre boring. Now I know the distance between the top of the cross slide and the centre of the headstock is uh, 2.366 of an inch. I also know that the outside diameter of uh, this piece of cast iron is uh, 2.002, so 2 thou over spec. So if I divide that by 2 I get 1.001. Uh, 
So if I add 1.001 to 2.366, um, that should give me the top uh, distance from the top down to the bottom of the cross slide. So that it should be 3.367. In actual fact, it's 3.365. So two thou out. I can't get it any closer. Um, so what I've done is I've um, used some um, parallels here, uh, which are nice and rock solid. Uh, bolted it down like that, and um, I've adjusted the uh, cross slide. So uh, I've got it as close as I can really. This gauge, just slightly out, but I think it'll be okay. Having adjusted the cross slide. I've then uh, locked the cross slide in place. I've got some locking screws on the side, uh, which I added a while ago. So, um, with that in mind, I think we uh, we're ready to have a go. So I've got um, a dead centre in the headstock. I've got a live centre in the tailstock, and um, I advanced the cutter by about five thou. I started cutting, and then realised I'd not switched the video camera on. So um, it's sort of in there about an inch so far. So I'll turn at um, 100, no, 300 RPM and I'll be on the fine feed on the carriage. Okay, so I'll release the tailstock and uh, I will uh, move the carriage this way uh, to get the uh, boarding bar out. I'll uh, measure the inside diameter and I'll make an adjustment on the cutter using this gauge here, which I've done in my previous video on the farm boy. Um, so I'll uh, extend the cutter out by an appropriate amount and then give it another try. So the way to adjust the cutter is you uh, put this little gauge on, uh, just lock it on, uh, tighten this nut up here so it's uh, seating on top of the uh, actual cutter. Once you've done that, loosen the uh, locking nut and then just keep your finger pressed on there and then advance it by the number of increments. So these are th by, um, thousands of an inch increments. So I'll uh, advance it five. So that should uh, reduce the internal bore by 10 thou. So the internal bore is currently 0.975 of an inch and I've advanced the cutter by five thou. So after this cut uh, it should result in the internal bore being 0.985, so we'll give it a try. I've noticed there's a bit of vibration and uh, last time I tried this on the farm boy I, my first attempt I got vibration and that was a life centre that was a bit dodgy uh, so that's fairly new uh, so I'll have to keep my eye on that but uh, anyway we'll uh, 
carry on I'll measure the internal bore again and keep on repeating it until I get to the uh, uh, 1.003 I think what I'm aiming at Ooh. 1.003 just fits so I'm happy with that so I think once it's honed and uh, maybe a bit of lapping I think we should be get a good result there so I'll uh, repeat the same process on the other cylinder so this lap I've uh, just machined is about uh, two to three thou under the uh, cylinder dimension and it's uh, some lapping grit on here, 500 grit Okay, so after honing and lapping, this cylinder's coming at 1.0037 internal bore, and this one's 1.0039. My target was 1.004, so I'm sort of happy with that. And I've decided I'm going to make the proper pistons 1.001 in diameter. So I've done a test piston that size, and uh, if I just drop that in, it's trying, isn't it? Not much resistance there. So I'm happy with that result. So I uh, centered the cylinder in this four jaw chuck and I'm reducing this area down to uh, 1.4 of an inch. Now I need to reduce this bottom section a bit further. Well so far so good, so I need to machine the other one in exactly the same way. And now we have two! Wow, slowly getting there. Now time for a coffee, I think. Blimey, that took some time. So now I need to put a five degree taper on it.
So I think there's just two more machining processes to go and that is to drill the holes for the studs. There's four in each of them which bolt into here and to uh, remove a little bit of material here I think. So to uh, drill the four holes I've used this three jaw chuck just bolted it to the table um, put the cylinder in it left a bit of clearance here for when the drill bit goes through and uh, put a coaxial indicator on and uh, centered it that looks pretty good so I've uh, set the DRO to zero and I'll uh, set the uh, bolt circle function up but I'll do that bit off camera so I've centre drilled all four positions and now I'm going to drill through with this 1164 drill bit. I'll do the other three off camera. Well rather annoyingly I got some run out there. Um, I did think about possibility of run out but I, d I didn't think it would happen. Um, and unfortunately that won't fit over the studs. The top end will but the bottom end won't. So I'm going to have to uh, put it back in the three jaw chuck that way around I think and start trying to uh, sort of get these holes a bit more accurate. Not too sure how to do that. This is ever so close to this side. Well I think hand filing is my uh, only real option here. So I'll continue in that vein and uh, then I'll get back to you. Well it is a bit disappointing that the uh, drill bit uh, wandered off a bit and broke through some of these uh, sides of the fins but unfortunately it is what it is. I mean a bit of filing has addressed the problem and uh, unfortunately this 1164 drill bit that I used, it's standard length, I didn't have a stub one if such a thing exists. Uh, so I think what I'll do when I uh, drill the holes in the, neck, uh, in the other cylinder, I'll use this uh, slot drill just to uh, start, uh, I think I can just get through on the first two fins. Having done that, hopefully, when I uh, revert back to the, uh, this 1164 drill bit, it'll uh, stay on track a bit better. So this is the other cylinder I've just drilled, and I got a far better result. Nearly broken out there. Um, not broken out at all there. just broken out there and just broken out there. Uh, needed a, a very small amount of hand filing that, uh, but far better than the other one. Okay, so now there's a requirement to uh, machine some of this out. And um, I think it's just for looks really. So what I've done is I've just made this mandrel, uh, threaded the end M6. secure it like that. So I'll define this uh, far edge here. I need to take uh, 75 thou off with this parting tool.
Well, I decided to use the parting tool to uh, machine out all this, and uh, I'm just uh, using half of the width of the parting tool to cut down, and it's very easy going. Well, that seems to have turned out okay, and I just tidied it up with a bit of emery paper as well. Well, I could kick myself for not taking more care over drilling those holes for the studs, but apart from that, I think it seemed to work out uh, very well. And uh, drilling those holes, I, I should have taken more care, and uh, I should have sort of shortened the drill bit, I think, by putting more of it into the collet chuck and then taking it in stages. I just went right through it with uh, sort of one pass, really. Uh, so it's my own fault. Uh, but apart from that, I think it's looking all right and uh, it's coming along nice and steady now, uh, starting to look a bit like an engine. Um, so what I'll be doing in my next video is uh, making the pistons. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you later. <laughs>